guys, it's Jesse, and it's Friday, so that's exciting. I have a book review for you guys, one that I just finished, absolutely loved. It was such a like cool surprise, and it was just a weird, quirky read, and I loved it. So I'm really excited to share my thoughts and opinions on it with you guys today. I hope you guys will enjoy this video, and we're just going to dive right in. So today's review is going to be On On Turpentine Lane by Eleanor Lippmann, and this is following our main character, Faith. And her fiance, if you can even call him that, decides to go on this walk across the U.S. He needs to find himself, and he's having like a like crisis. So as he's you know off doing his own thing, she decides to move from Brooklyn back to their hometown, where she gets this job writing thank you notes to donors from her old high school. And on top of all that, she buys this really quaint little house. And what happens after all of that is full of drama, and there's some love interest and a little bit of mystery too. So this definitely has a bunch rolled into one. I wasn't sure going into this book how I would end up feeling about it, but if you can't tell, I'm like currently obsessing over it and it's fantastic. So I'm excited to share some more with you guys. There were so, so many things that I loved about this book, but to start us off, the very first thing I want to talk about is how great these characters are. They are seriously some of the greatest characters I have ever read about. Even the secondary characters in here were so well developed and well rounded, like even more so, not even more so, but even like as well as our main character was. Like Faith was so great and her brother and her parents and just all the like crazy characters that are involved, they were all so like interesting and just well done. I felt like these were actual like everyday average Joes with real life drama and it just spun them into something really interesting. And the dialogue, you guys, the dialogue, like, holy cow, it was fantastic. It was sharp and it was witty, and yet they were down to earth and real too. These characters really do come to life on these pages. I found myself fully immersed in their daily dramas, in their relationships, and I found myself laughing out loud, um, like, more than once. Like, many times and I just couldn't believe just how witty and charming this was. Now I did say that there was a little bit of romance and it was actually a reoccurring theme. What was nice here is they had like parental like love, sibling love, and then of course the love between different spouses. So it was an interesting take to kind of see all of these play out at once and not just focusing only on like one romantic kind of interest. So I really enjoyed that. And like I said, I was just really pleasantly surprised by this charming read. There's also this little mystery that starts to kind of unravel and you think that you would be like freaked out and you would lose like your mind and want to get away and then it's just kind of like twisted and flipped on its head and becomes quite humorous and pretty darn like interesting and you're like okay I want to get to the bottom and it brings out some kooky characters and it was just really entertaining to see this and it didn't take away from the story it wasn't the whole story Definitely was just like a nice little addition and kind of a tie-in um, and I know it sounds kind of weird to have like a romantic comedy with this like weird mystery but it worked because these characters just felt so real. The dialogue again was just witty and humorous and just highly entertaining. I mean I, I kid you guys not like I'm obsessed with this book and the plot line though that's the thing is it wasn't anything special. It wasn't anything super fantastic. It wasn't like profound, but it worked. It had me totally and utterly like engulfed in this from the start. It really is the perfect read to brighten like any gloomy day, which I know a lot of us are having right now, so definitely pick this up. It is hands down a five star read for me because like I said, it just had all these really interesting aspects that took an everyday just average person and really spun it into something that was like really worthy of reading and it wasn't boring, but it wasn't totally like thrilling, but it was just, you know, it had its own unique little vibe and it worked so well. And I will definitely be looking into more of Eleanor Littman's writing because apparently this is a, you know, her writing style and it was just so fantastic and I loved it. So I'm definitely like going to check it out and you should too, because I just really, really enjoyed it and apparently can't stop freaking out about it. And I'm saying like endless babbling, same words over and over, but seriously, check this one out. So I just really quickly want to say thank you so much to HMH Books for sending this my way. I just absolutely loved it. So 
what a lovely surprise that you guys sent it to me. I had knew nothing about this, never read anything by this author, and ended up loving it so, so much. So I thank you guys so much. Secondly, this book gets released on February 14th, which is Tuesday, so you guys should definitely read it. It's so perfect timing for Valentine's Day and just all that goodness with the crappy weather. So I highly, highly recommend you guys picking it up. There's a pre-order link down below, and by clicking that link, you guys are helping support this channel, so that would be greatly appreciated. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend, and be sure to comment below if you guys have any questions about this or you're interested in picking it up. I would love to know. So again, have a great weekend. I will see you guys next week, and thank you so much. Bye.